you're here in the majesty of the Grand Canyon, you realise the power of nature. And you think about the enormity of nature's ability to make these structures. And then humanity to try to tame the power of the rivers. We're using water faster than nature can replenish it. In the next 13 years, there's forecast to be a 40% greater demand for water than the supply of water available. A lot of people think I'm running because I want the experience of running really long distances or because I like it. <laughs> that is not the case. It's a long way and there's a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. No, why I'm doing this is because I want to build momentum. I want to bring together a community of people around the world to work together to solve this water crisis, to make sure that we have a water sustainable planet for the future. When I was a kid growing up in Australia, I had a very bad accident. The doctors told me I would never be able to run again. Suddenly I thought, nobody sets limits on me except me. And I think when I look at something like the water crisis, which is the thing that drives me, if I let people tell me that I can't solve this problem, if I let society tell itself that it's a problem too big to be resolved in my lifetime, in our lifetime, then all of a sudden I've let other people put limits on our planet's future. And I'm not prepared for that to happen. My journey is every single day getting up and reminding myself no matter how dark or how cold or how wet or how much I don't want to get out there, this is my dream, this is my goal and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure I get there. <laughs>